After weeks of speculation and confusion surrounding the enigmatic number 444 and its connection to a massive marketing campaign that spanned the country, Jay-Z's camp revealed it was indeed Ho's 13th studio album, 444. The clock has finally hit that magic number and Mr. Sean Carter's highly anticipated project has arrived, exclusively to title and Sprint users right on schedule. Produced entirely by No ID, 444 marks Hove's follow-up to 2013's Magna Carta Holy Grail and is also the music mogul's first solo studio album in four years, adding more fuel to the four fire. Listening to the album became a burden to some fans of Jigga Man, as many looking to hear Jay-Z's much-anticipated 444 album were shocked to learn they couldn't access the LP through a new title account. Hove's new album wasn't only a title exclusive, but also became restricted to Sprint customers if the user signed up after 11.59pm Eastern Standard Time on Thursday night. Some users are reporting they're getting a message that tells them they needed to sign up before June 26. Those who got a chance to listen to the album or attend the plenty of nationwide release parties at actual Sprint locations were in for one of Jay's most revealing albums to date. This includes opening up about his relationship with Beyonce, following rumors that 444 would serve as a response to Lemonade. Tracks including Kill Jay-Z, 444, Family Feuds, and Legacy all give insight, or at least the insight that Jay wants us to hear, into the usually extremely private life of the Carters, who just added twins to their family earlier this month. R&B legend Eric Benet even responded to Ho following a line on Kill Jay-Z where he makes a comparison to Halle Berry's ex-husband. The same track also features bars about his strained relationship with Kanye West following a rant last year during his St. Pablo tour. Though there are rumors of a 444 movie featuring Mahershala Ali, Lupita Nyong'o, and Danny Glover following the initial teaser during this year's NBA Finals, a video for the track The Story of OJ hit title. Take a look at the clip. Rich nigga, poor nigga, house nigga, feel nigga, still nigga, still nigga. Have a chance to listen to 444? Think Jay-Z is back? Let us know what you think in the comments section. And don't forget to check the site for news on other releases today from Zero, JL, and MC8. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more music and news, hit up hiphopdx.com.